I'm in the studio with the legendary Charles Wright, my buddy, my very good friend. All right. And uh, we're doing a sneak preview, a behind the scenes look of his brand new album. And what they call them, CD nowadays, right? Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. They don't call them albums anymore, do they? Yeah, the title of it is uh, Be Careful What You Look For. Be careful what like, you wish for. Be careful what you wish for, excuse me. Yeah. What you wish for. Yeah. Be careful what you look, wish for. Is yeah. the name of it. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. Okay, and you've been working on this album for quite a while, have you not? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, there's a, a song in here that's 40 years old. That's four years old? Forty. Fourteen oh, years old? Forty. Forty? Recorded forty I, I years think ago. Forty years ago? Happiness. Oh, happiness. Oh, yeah. I've been I, sitting on it all this time and pulled it out last year and said, what am I sitting on this for? Well, everybody's happy right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the song that we're listening to in the background right now is called Apartment Living. Is that right? Apartment Living. Yeah, that's a heck of a concept. Because I lived in apartments for a long time all my life as well. So where did that concept come from? Actually, I had a song for this track uh, called Apartment Living. And I'll explain to the guy, you know, he's living in this apartment and he, his wife is all in everybody's business and he oh, gotta get out of here. So, but my crew here, they love the just the instrumental part. They want to dance just the instrumental sauce. So I, um, I struggled with it a while. I said, well, if that's what they like. And to me, it sounds a little empty because I'm complicated. I like to, I like to fill things up, you know, with right. my productions. But, Working like this, I let it roll. Well, I know you work with a live band. Instead. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I know for a fact that's one of the things that uh, Charles Wright is known for. He's, he's one of the musicians who believes in a live band. And that's very important because you keep musicians working when you do that. And also the music has a very special feeling to it. It's much deeper than that, Rose. It's much deeper than that. Much deeper. What we do, what we air on the radio, what we bring to the people uh, musically has a whole lot to do psychologically with how the neighborhood functions. People who are listening to what they're listening to today, you can see they're going off, you can see everybody killing each other, That's right. fighting, and yeah, you got these gangs over here and all this over here, and you got people doing drugs, and it's because they're not happy. We always had soulful music. Yes, we All have. on the way back, we've had soulful music. But now, days we don't have. We got an electric drum, and that's like uh, uh, that's uh, more like a metronome going on mm -hmm. all the time. You know, where metronome children uh, uh, practicing. <laughs> With the piano or playing it with a metronome, that's all you're getting today. You're not getting the feeling of the real interaction of the musicians. So what we got to do is bring that back. We got the bands like Earth, Wind and Fire, and yourself, and a few others that are still using uh, live music. No, the Earth, Wind and Fire. I'm sorry. I, They're not I doing love them. My brothers, you know, I, I'm responsible for them a lot because I told them I came up, practically everything you know. Sure. But uh, no, they're no longer doing. Uh, I've been trying to get Maurice to go back to his drum. He's a great drummer. Right. He made some of the greatest music in history. Uh, Ramsey Lewis. <laughs> that's that's Maurice playing drums. You know? Right. Yeah. Um, the drums are so important, and we just seem to think somebody tell us that this ain't happening no more. We believe it. But what we did in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and early 80s. That was the greatest music ever came out on the marketplace. And we need to get back to that. We should have never left it. That's right.